Hi everyone. In this video I'll be showing you how to recreate this fall leaves pattern in Adobe Illustrator with the help of a randomization plugin called Randomill that you can see docked in the top left part of the screen here in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get right into it. First thing I'm gonna do is just create a canvas or an artboard to work with. So I'm going to create the artboard. I'm going to size it the same size, which is a thousand by one thousand pixels. And there we go. And now I need a this base shape, and I grabbed this shape off of uh, freepick.com, and uh, someone there has generously made it available for free. And I will put a link to this artwork in the description below. But this is what we are going to use as our starting point, is this leaf shape here. So I'm going to rotate it so it's about pointing up. I'm going to size it down. I'm going to put it in the corner. And then I'm going to create a grid of these guys all the way across the artboard. So I'm going to copy it over and then press Control D to uh, duplicate the last action, which will just keep copying it over and over. And I'm going to do the same here. Let's create a kind of staggered grid here and then copy these two rows all the way down. Then hit Control D to keep duplicating that previous action. And there we go. We have a bunch of these leaves. So let's put that roughly in the center. Now to reference the original design, we can see that we have these this reddish brownish fall range of colors. All the leaves have been randomly rotated. There's a variety of sizes. And this is where the Randomill plugin comes in. What this plugin does is allow you to randomize various parameters across a group of objects. So we're going to select all our leaves here. And I'm just going to go ahead and restart this plugin to bring back the default values. And let's turn on fill color because we want to randomize the color. Unroll the options and let's select this range of reds and yellows that we are going to use. Now it looks like the saturation, we've got this kind of red yellow range of colors dialed in. The saturation looks to be cranked pretty much all the way up. Maybe I'm just going to set the minimum to 95. And then the lightness. We don't want it to be completely black or completely white, but we'll give it a range of like, I don't know, 30 to 70 seems about right. And we can always tweak that later after we see what the results are going to be. So we've got the fill color set up. What else? Now we need to make sure that each one of the leaves is going to be randomly scaled. So we're going to want to vary the size of each of them so as, so as not to have them appear to uniform. So we're going to turn on the scale, we're going to unroll the options, and we're going to make it so each leaf will be scaled anywhere from 50 to 200 percent. Those are the default settings that actually seems pretty good to me right off the bat. So we're just going to leave those as is and close that rollout back up. And next up would be rotation. We do want to rotate each leaf randomly and we want a full range of rotation, so I'm going to set the maximum rotation to be 360 degrees and close the rollout back up. Uh, the other thing is the original design, you can see that the leaves are not in a grid pattern. So what we want to do is kind of scatter all of these randomly across the artboard. So the way to do that would be to apply a position offset to all of these leaves. And I'm just going to leave this at the default settings. So each leaf will be randomly offset uh, horizontally and vertically anywhere from negative 72 points to 72 points. And you can use whatever units you want in these fields. It should work just the same. And I think that should actually do it. So with all of the leaves that we want to randomize, we have them all selected. Let's go ahead and click the, the randomize button here and see what we get. So 
In terms of the color range, I think we are pretty close. However, there are some darker leaves and there may be some lighter leaves as well. So let's select all those and let's tweak the fill color a little bit. So we definitely want to expand the minimum of the lightness here. See, there we go. Now, now it's become a little bit too dark, but I think I actually like it better. You can tweak these to whatever kind of parameters you want. You can make them a lush, vibrant green. I'm just going to stick with the fall color scheme for now. That seems good to me. So where do we go from here? Clearly we need more leaves, but one thing that we also need is a greater variety in size. Right? There are some very big leaves in the original design. So what we can do is select all of these again and then scale them randomly again. We'll turn the scale on. It has the same options as before. And we're just going to go ahead and click randomize. And as you can see, we are now much closer to the size range as it is in the original design. But we still need more leaves. So one easy way to accomplish that would be to select everything we have here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy it using Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac, and then Control Shift V to paste it all in place. Now I have two copies, and I'm going to rotate what I pasted about 90 degrees to the right. And this is a quick and easy way to just fill up this canvas really quick. I'm going to, we still have some, some blank spots here. So what you can do is actually just drag over some leaves. I'm going to hide that one behind all the rest. Uh, and then we're, we're actually going to do that same trick again. So I'm going to select everything, copy it, paste it in place, rotate it 90 degrees. And the spots are definitely getting filled up now. I don't want to have this get in the way, so I'm going to lock that. And now there are still some blank spots. So what we can do is maybe apply some positional offsets anywhere from negative 18 points to 18 points and do the same for the vertical. Then maybe have a six point step count there. So let's see how that works out. You can see it's randomized all the positions, but not quite the effect that we wanted. There's still blank spots. So what we can do is actually just take random groups of leaves, manually copy them over, right, and rotate them. And there's, there's so many layers. You can hide some behind other ones. And because there's so many leaves, it's going to be very hard to tell that these have been copied over. There you go. You can just do that for as long as you like until there's absolutely no blank spots left. I think I'm kind of happy with this result here. One thing we can do is actually create a, a square that'll serve as a backdrop. So I'm just going to click. It's going to be the same size as the canvas. And I'm just going to set it to, you know, the same color as one of these leaves. I'm going to move it behind every leaf and then I'm going to just center it on the canvas so there's no more white spots here. And now one thing we want to make sure of is that the leaves don't extend past the edges of the canvas um, or the artboard. So the way to do that would be to select everything here. I'm going to hit Control G to group it and then I'm going to create another square that will serve as the clipping mask. So a thousand by a thousand pixels, same size as the artboard. We'll center it again. Shift select all the group of leaves under it, and then hit Control or Command 7 if you're on a Mac, and that'll give you a clipping mask. So without too much hassle, we've gone ahead and recreated this leaf pattern in just a couple minutes using the power of the Randomill plugin for Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to leave a link to this plugin and where you can pick it up down in the description below. And if you would like to see how I recreated or created these other patterns over here, I've got videos for that as well. I will leave a 
a link in the description for those as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope uh, you might find a use for this kind of plugin. I certainly have. And uh, good luck with all your future illustrations.